Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Dunst notification system. So to start off, I've got the uh, I've got the article open because I want to let you know that to use Dunst, you're going to need to disable your notification system. And in my article, I cover how to disable it on Mate, XFCE4, and others. So please check the link in the description. But uh, once you've got that disabled, you can go ahead and install the software. And on Fedora, that would be sudo dnf install dunst and uh, it's going to download the software and everything that I need to install it. Now once it's installed we need to go back to the article because we need to download the configuration file and to get the configuration file we need to go to the downloads folder and do wget like so download the latest wget and we can cat the Dunst RC file just to make sure that's there and it works. And uh, next, we need to make the configuration folder. And the configuration folder is just made with this command right here. So just paste that in. And next, we move the Dunst RC file into the correct location. And then from there, if you want to customize the way your notifications look, you can go ahead and open up the configuration file. I'm not going to do that in this video. This is just a demonstration on how to get it working. But uh, to get it working, we need to enable the startup in the systemd system. So I'm using Fedora, so I'm going to need to copy this command here. And now this will create a sim link and it will enable for my user Dunst, and then I can go ahead and start it up. And it should start. And I just checked my journal CTL just to make sure that the Dunst notification daemon is working. So it should be working. And uh, now if I download something, we can be sure that it works. All right, so to test the notification system, I'm just gonna download something. On XFCE, I can't click a preview button, but uh, I'll do save image as, and we'll just do Dunst test and add number there. And as we can see, the notification system is up and running and works like it should. And that is how you set up Dunst. If you're using a tiling window manager and you want some pop-up notifications or you just want to have customization control over that, I highly recommend setting that all up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.